Hello and good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to today's webinar session brought to you by Siksha.com and Neoma Business School France. Student, this is an informative session about management programs offered by Neoma Business School France. Before starting off with the session, I would like to introduce our presenter from today uh, from the university, uh, from the business school. We have Mr. Shekhar Surti, Country Manager India from Neoma Business School. And before we start up further, I would request all the students to please take a note of this, that we will take questions at the end of the presentation. I would request you, if you have questions, please post your questions in the question sections. If you wish to ask questions directly to the presenter, please click on raise hand tab. I will unmute you and you can ask your questions directly to Shekhar. I would now request Shekhar to please start with the session. Thank you. Great, uh, thank you very much. So uh, firstly, I would like to thank the Siksha team to give us a wonderful opportunity to do this presentation. So I would like to just present myself first of all. So I am Shikha Surti. I'm India Office Manager of Neoma Business School. I am responsible for the recruitment and business development of Neoma Business School in India and neighboring countries. I'm also alumni of this business school. I graduated from this school 13 years ago. And I worked 10 years in corporate finance in France before I moved back to India. So uh, let's start talking about uh, Neoma Business studying in France in one of the top business schools, which is Neoma Business School. So the first thing we would like to share is why, why you should come to France to study. So just to let you know, France is one of the most popular, popular destinations to study abroad. And uh, like it is one of the first non-English speaking host country. So which is a very good sign. And uh, apart from English speaking language, you get to uh, get to integrate in a different culture plus learn another language. And French education is uh, very well known worldwide. Uh, there is a lot of emphasis on research and development by the French government. So French government invests a lot in research and development. And there are a lot of big French companies which are uh, well known worldwide. Like some of them is L'Oreal, Airbus, Forestia, Carrefour. So a lot of big uh, French brands are well known worldwide. And French is also an internationally spoken language. So talking about uh, Neoma Business School. Can you see the screen? Oh, no, we cannot see the screen shaker. Just just one minute, sorry for that. Yeah, is it, is it okay now? Yeah, it is visible now. Yeah, thank you. So, uh, yeah. So about uh, Neoma Business School, Neoma Business School is one of the top, top, top five business school in France, top 28 in the world. We have triple accreditation, which assures the quality of education. We have three campuses, Reims, Rouen, and Paris. All our campuses are easily accessible by transport. We have more than 65,000 alumni members actively connected on the alumni network, which are based in 127 countries around the world. And we have almost 100 nationalities on campus with all 25% international students on, on our campuses. So we have around 9,500 students in total all uh, campuses. So as I was talking about the ranking, Neoma Business School is ranked top five in France, top 28 in the world in the Financial Times MIM rankings. Plus in the Economist, we are placed 19th place in the world and in other rankings we are sixth and seven depending on the ranking in French business schools. So we have been recently labeled uh, Bienvenue of France. Now what is this label Bienvenue of France? This means that uh, 
this label is provided to schools which are uh, very well known for its quality and uh, access to the students international uh, welcoming of international student the academics accommodation and campus life so when you come to schools like the one like us when you know there is a we are uh, we are awarded via when you from slower that means you are really coming to a quality school and not only uh, academics but uh, you will really enjoy your student life when you come to us so what do we offer in terms of program we offer um, we offer uh, bachelor's and master program so we have two bachelor program which is sesam and global bba program we offer that the prestigious master in management program and the msc uh, programs so i'll just go a little bit quickly on details of the program so the first program that we have is uh, the global bba program this is a four year program uh of in which in first year third year and fourth year the students are able to do courses and internships and in the second year they go for an exchange they go to another country another university to study for a year so this program gives an uh, very good international exposure as well as practical exposure because they do three internship during the uh, program the eligibility for the program is one should be either in 12 standard or finish till 12 standard we don't require sat or we don't require ielts score if the education is in english another bachelor program that we have is called sesam bachelor in international business program this is a dual degree program in which they do first two years with neoma and the second two years with the partner university we have three track european track america track asian track now what does this track means means if they choose european track they will go to study in european universities if they choose america's track they go to universities in either north or south america or asia then the students will go to universities in asia like in japan china and all all the partner school we have around 13 14 partner school for this program and all the partner schools are top schools so they get two degrees one from france and one from another country and this program also has two internships so they also get equal uh, practical exposure and international exposure when they come to this program we offer uh, then another program that we have it is called the master in management program so we receive a lot of applications for this program from india this is uh, master in management in french first of all is called as program grande ecole this program can be done in two or three years the difference between two or three years is that you can take a gap year in between the objective of the gap year is to take experience before you graduate out of the program so you can either go for do internship you can go for an exchange in the first year of the mim program normally you do generalized management courses in the second year or final year of mim you do one of our msc programs so we have a big portfolio of msc programs that you can do so we have uh, programs in finance marketing supply chain international business project development human resources luxury management wine and gastronomy cultural and creative industry so this is really we have a lot of options for you in terms of specialization so by default by doing mim degree you get two degrees one is the master in management and second is msc degree so the eligibility criteria for the mim program is either three year bachelor degree or four year bachelor degree both can apply we don't require gre gmat so you can apply directly with we uh, we don't require ielts again if your education is in english uh, one can also apply to one of our directly one of our msc programs most of the msc programs are one year programs so in that case uh, your eligibility criteria is either three year bachelor degree with one year experience or four year bachelor degree 
again you don't require gre gmat to apply we don't require ilts if your education is in english so the programs that we offer are also cover various certifications like uh, msc financial and market and technology program it prepares you for frm certification we have msc finance investment and wealth management which prepares you for cfa certification our msc accounting auditing advisory prepares you for cma certification management accounting certification we have international project development program which prepares you for prince 2 certification in project development we also offer some dual degree programs like msc in global management which is has a dual degree with esb business school and dcu business school and then we have a international luxury management program which is proposed in collaboration with mip which is also a very uh, highly ranked program so for someone who wants to have their own startup startup has become has been a boom in recent uh, years so anyone who wants to launch their own startup or run their family business or in future think of creating a company we have incubator system with us so you can create, you can come to us and you can launch your own company and we have more than 100 successful startup launched in 2011 and uh, there are uh, already quite a few ongoing projects running with us so this is really uh, wonderful in terms of entrepreneurship options uh, for anyone who would like to come to us talking about uh, like how innovative are we so you know we uh, and uh, digitalization so we have we have put in place a vr technology in our classroom so this is a real classroom photo where student are uh, using the vr technology and during covid also we had sent students the vr kits so they could uh, they could follow the classroom sitting at home so this is really we are the first ones to put in place this uh, vr technology what kind of guidance you get when you come to us so we uh, we we provide you uh, administrative guidance academic guidance and talent and career development so firstly uh, when you come to us uh, we have an admin team which is which is there to help you out with all the formalities related to your arrival in france so we have a team called hub they are the principal contact for any question you might have hub will guide you to the right team we also have a talent and career center in which we have 37 career counselors to guide you on cv motivation letter preparation for interview for most of mostly all indians the first question they have is what about job would i get any assistance from the school yes we do have assistance we have 37 career counselors to guide you you have right to take appointment with our career counselor right from first week of arrival at the school we have around 25000 offers on our school website including jobs and internship offers that you can refer to once you are part of the school we also have an alumni portal as i said we have more than 65000 alumni members actively connected on alumni network and uh, yeah the job portal is also available as uh, to you once you are once you arrive at the school there are also personal development sessions happening in the school so after your bachelor program normally what kind of salary you can expect so the, the bachelor program this average salary is between 32 to 40000 euros and 43% students find job even before they complete the program 50% work in france 50% work abroad and what about masters our masters degree uh, almost like 80 to 90% of student find employment within 3 months of completion of the program the average salaries are in the range of 43 to 49000 euros uh, depending on the program but mostly you get a very good average salary when you come to us as we are a very highly ranked school and you will see that people work in all kind of different industry uh, so we are not focusing on single industry but you can really explore all types of industry when you come to us so 
these are just list of few companies that they recruit with us this is a really small tiny list of the big list of the companies that recruit with us but yes all big companies uh, all big companies uh, recruit with uh, students from neoma business school so where are our alumni as i said 65000 700 uh, alumni based in 127 countries i believe no matter which country you go when you travel you should be able to find a neoma alumni and there are 54 tribes and there are more than 500 events so, uh, per year by, done by alumni network and myself i have worked around the world so this is really wonderful opportunity About the just to give you about the application process so you know we give GRE GMAT waiver we, and IELTS TOEFL is not mandatory the applications are online so Siksha team we you need to get in touch with Siksha team for more guidance on your application and uh, everything is very easy to follow so Siksha team is there to guide you with the application process just to let you know these are the documents that you would require so you would require cv or academic transcript or mark sheets are also accepted you need to uh, have your degree or provisional if not if you are in final year you can still apply and you require two letter of recommendations it can be academic or professional anyone so the next intake is the september 2021 intake and um, yeah so the the three campus that we have i said is we have Rouen, Reims, and paris so Rouen and Reims, they are each one hour away from paris Reims is the capital of champagne champagne come from this place it's very luxurious place Rouen is the capital of normandy normandy this photo is from the Rouen campus so there is a small castle as you see in the photo so it's nice place uh, very very nice place for a student life concerning uh, the tuition fees the bachelor program starts from 10500 euros per year and msc tuition fee starts from 16900 euros for the full program and mim tuition fee the total tuition fee for total for two years is 29500 euros about the scholarship options so yes there are some french government scholarship for this coming intake they are already closed but yes for anyone planning for 2022 intake you can definitely ask us for more information on french government scholarship we have um, we have school scholarship which is early bird scholarship that is also over which is for until 31st of january next year students can benefit we still have merit-based scholarship for uh, MSc and bachelor program. So yes, please get in touch with me for more information on scholarships. So that is, that's it. It was a very quick presentation with uh, you know, whatever information we could share with you with less time and most of the information needed for you. This is my email and this is my contact number. You can really uh, get in touch with me by email or telephone or WhatsApp on the same number. Thank you so much, Shekhar. Uh, yes, we have questions from students. I am uh, going to start with the question in the question section. Students, if you want to ask questions directly, please click on raise hand. I will unmute you and you can ask your question directly to Shekhar. So Shekhar, my first question is from Arvind. Is from Arvind and this, I'm going to unmute Arvind. Arvind, please unmute yourself and ask your question. Uh, hi Shekhar, how are you doing today? Hi, I'm doing very fine. Thank you very much. How are you doing? Uh, I'm pretty okay. Thanks for asking. Again. Uh, I have a question here. Like, uh, uh, what is the current situation in France in terms of uh, the academic classes, which is going up in uh, in uh, new business school specifically? Uh, is it online or it's a mix of offline classes? 
secondly what is market uh, structure right now how the market is performing right now uh, keeping the situation of covid and all and what are the future prospects like probably the next year what is the future uh, i have a prediction for the classes is it going to be online or offline classes thank you very much for all the questions first of all yeah i yeah. am this was the uh, I forgot to share one important this important thing about the covid so yeah uh, firstly for now the courses are happening online few students could uh, attend courses from classroom with uh, permission from i mean we specifically got uh, permission from ministry to have few students following classroom but main, mainly majorly it is happening online with limited number of students who had asked for they, they could do the classroom uh, courses in the classroom what we follow is the government guidelines so it's not the decision is not made by specifically by the school we follow what government says so if you ask me how the situation will be in september intake it would be too it would be too early to say so because uh, uh, because the government gives update for one or two months something like that so that's one thing however if any one of you decide to apply to us you get admission you confirm your admission one thing is there is that if you feel in like even in august if you feel that no it is not the safe time to go and you would like to postpone your studies one year deferral is possible so you can defer your admission to next intake and concerning the like current market trends so definitely the it's not that the jobs are not there definitely jobs are there but uh, from my past webinars where i had some i discussed with few corporates so what i understand is it's that they have jobs but there is more and more uh, focus on the digitalization and innovation and automize automatization so because of that so there are new types of opportunities with regards to how the company was fun functioning so yes the company is not stopping but definitely they have uh, they have changed the way of looking at things or a way of functioning or uh, or types of opportunities available so any one of you who is to going to choose the program it is important you think about future what the future will be so for now the future is about the digitalization automatization and innovation i hope i answered uh, the questions okay i sorry i just missed so please continue sorry uh I miss your voice in between. So when you are, I miss your voice in between while while you are okay. answering the second question about the job market. So you had some uh, oh. webinars with corporates, yeah? Yeah, I said that during the webinar uh, with corporates, uh, what we understand that what we understood is that there are jobs, but the the jobs now are based on more on innovation, digitalization. Okay, all right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Ankur. Next, I'm going to unmute Shubhra Mehta. Shubhra, please ask Subh Subhadra Mehta. Subhadra, please unmute yourself and ask your question. Hello, sir. Hello. Hi, Shubhra. How are you doing? Sir, I'm fine. How are you? I'm doing very fine. Thank you very much. Uh, sir, my question is: Is uh, any of uh, there is any kind of scholarship scheme which uh, cover full accommodation and uh, tuition fees also? No, we, we with us no. Even if uh, um, I mean, 
there are uh, french government scholarship which can cover uh, up to 80% of cost of education 70 to 80 but for that you one needs to have like more than 9 cgp or around 90% of grades that's the minimum requirement that we have and for this coming intake that is already closed so it would be for the next intake uh sir and well i'm um, in any case even if for one... sir please continue yeah what i was saying is in any case even if one gets that scholarship they have to pay the tuition fees they have to pay the living expense but the government gives monthly stipend okay sir well i was asking for master's degree yeah i'm talking about masters okay sir thank you thank you very much thank you so much subhatra next i'm going to unmute roni Ronnie, I am unmuting you. Please ask your question. Hi. Hi. Hi, Moni. How are you? I'm good, sir. How are you? I'm very fine. Thank you very much. Yes, how can I? So, yeah, I had a question. Um, so, you're talking about Naomi Admission College, right? Neoma, yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry, Nioma. I'm really sorry. So, uh, I need more details regarding who are you and how can you help. And I'm not really getting the picture here. I'm sorry. Uh, maybe you missed the introduction. Did you miss the introduction part? Yeah. It's okay. So, I am Shekhar Surti. I'm responsible for uh, recruitment and business development. Uh, I was actually trying to talk into webinar so it's okay it's okay so i am uh, i am shaker suti i am india office manager of neoma business school and i am responsible for recruitment um, and business development hello hello can you hear me i think there is some connectivity problem uh yeah can you hear okay. me well? I don't see him anymore. I think there's some connectivity problem at his end. No problem. I am going to I'm going to the next student, uh, Deepak Padi. I'm going to unmute him. Deepak, please okay. unmute yourself and ask your question. Uh, good afternoon. I'm Deepak here. Uh, I'm actually joined a bit late. Uh, I just want to know uh, so far as full time MBA program uh, is concerned. Uh, what are the programs which are still available and uh, and is it a one year program or a two year and uh, what will be like the fee structure uh, if i want to go for a full time mba we we do not have full time mba we have masters or msc program okay so we have uh, like two year program which is called master in management program may i know quickly about your background so i understand your eligibility Actually, I'm, I've done my MTech in mechanical engineering and uh, I'm in military right now. I'm already spent about 19 years in army. Uh, I plan to take up my, put up my papers, go for a voluntary retirement and looking for uh, changing my career into corporate. And this is basically, I want to uh, prepare myself. So that's why I want to do an MBA and uh, preferably on, a, uh, on something which is uh, more current in the market. That will help me to get absorbed in the corporate uh, industry. Uh, yeah. And but what is your age, if you don't mind sharing? I'm th I'm 39. Ah, 39. Okay. But depending, you can you can look for a one year program because uh, like uh, project development, something like that. With your age, uh, you can you can target that kind of program project development which is project management program if it suits you well that okay. is possible and what, one, what, what does this project develop i mean what exactly does it uh, uh, does it uh, cover and what what kind of specialized uh, specialization is it 
normally the project development covers basically all aspects of management but focusing on the project management uh, side so uh, in which they will uh, explain you about like business planning marketing finance uh, how to manage teams and individuals and uh, international negotiation plus you do certification in fringe 2 which is a project management certification so it can be helpful to you when you want to i mean that is one of i mean you should go through the program i mean that's why that's my suggestion that it might fit your background but i don't know if you want to do project management program so okay what i was actually looking into uh, that i've actually done one one of my uh, one year uh, i am from i am kolkata i've done one year uh, uh, APGM that basically covers the basics of uh, management uh, things like corporate finance and other things. And the basics uh, were covered in that. So, uh, mm -hmm. what I'm interested in is to do something in finance or maybe uh, supply chain management. Uh, that is something which I was looking for. Uh, what I suggest in that case, we will plan a separate call. Uh, did you note my number? Maybe. No, no, can... no, no, no. Oh, I'm, just the, I'm sharing uh, my number on chat you call me and plan a call because you, it, it will be difficult okay. to, to, to okay. I, mean, I, I mean i would prefer to spend time with you see what is best option for you and help help you accordingly okay thank you thank you so, uh, can so i get your number or my number in chat you can I am sending the number. Ah, okay. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you. Deepak, just let me know if you have received the number. Not yet. Uh, I'm not getting. Uh, Can you okay. check the text? Yeah. Have you received yeah, it? Yeah, I got it. Thank you. Thank you. I got it. I, I, thank you. Ah, okay. Thank you so much, Deepak. Thank you, Deepak. Um, Okay, moving to the questions from the question section, I'm going to take the first question, uh -huh. which is from Anaira and the student wants to know what are the opportunities for internship for the MS programs? Great. So our MSc program basically uh, one year MSc program, when we say one year is one and a half year in which you have like around around eight to nine months of courses and then you have to do internship uh, one should know that internship can be done in any part of the world so uh, quite a few students have uh, impression that they should do internship only in france no it's not like that you can really do internship in any part of the world and uh, as i was explaining in the presentation we have uh, uh, we have around 25,000 offers on our school portal, including jobs and internship offers. You have access to this portal once you're part of the school. And uh, there is also LinkedIn and there are a lot of different options that you have av available to apply for internship opportunities. So uh, normally one should not struggle to find an internship opportunity. Definitely it can take maybe a little bit of time. But students start much in advance to apply for internship. So should you should be able to find one. Okay. Now uh, moving to next question. Uh, I'm going to unmute Divyanshu Dhar. Divyanshu, please unmute yourself. Your question. Uh, yeah. Uh, good afternoon, sir. It's good to connect with you again. Great. Hi, Divyanshu. How are you doing? Good afternoon. Uh, I'm doing good, sir. And sir, my interview in Neoma Business School is scheduled for 11th May. Uh, but before that, I had one doubt, uh, like I wanted to clarify. Mm -hmm. uh, sir, uh, while researching, I came across like one fact that, uh, you know, uh, a particular level of French language knowledge is required to be, you know, uh, more acceptable to certain companies in France. So, so like how, like, uh, will, French language be more of a hindrance later on if we do not get acquainted with it to a certain level. Um, 
good question so first of all if if anyone who wants to work in france definitely you should have a little um, like you should have notions in french be able to communicate a little in french it is very important that shows your motivation so uh, motivation is very important over here when it comes to language you should, uh, it's one thing anyone who is not able to speak much french or uh, still not be able to cope up with french they can still explore opportunities worldwide as you see as you saw in our presentation our alumni are based in 127 countries around the world so you should not limit yourself to france when you apply for an opportunity you should really try to explore opportunities all around the world yes sir yes sir plus uh, plus you i mean mim you spend good time in at the school you really have lot of we have lot of french students i mean nothing else apart from that to motivate you to learn french so i believe one should naturally learn little like it's like going from one state to another state in india like if you are from north and you land up in tamil nadu definitely you'll start learning little bit of tamil so it's is the same thing going to france uh, you learn a little bit slowly slowly that's fine and at one point uh, you will be able to do basic communication and maybe yeah, speak sure. fluently yeah sure sir thank you thank you for the answer thank you so much thank you thank you so much divyanshu moving to next question from the question section uh, this is from uh, parid uh, paridhatan and she is asking uh, about if one could not join by september intake then when we can join and the last day for applying for the admission plus uh, she is asking for a brochure for neoma management school where the description about the courses are available can you repeat i think it was very long uh, question she, <laughs> sorry for so she is asking if the student is not able to join for the september intake when next they can join and what is the last date for applying for the admission so after september we have january intake but not all programs are available for january intake so it uh, depends uh, it depends on what program the student is interested in and after january it will be next september for uh, this september uh, there's a, like mim program is in september and uh, msc program starts in october so for mim program we will stop in june the admission end like mid june or something like that and for uh, msc program we will continue to recruit until july and end of july and for january intake we will recruit until october end she is further asking for a brochure where she can get some description about the programs uh, can can you please share my email id to her and uh, ask her to email me so i can help her with more information uh, sure. brochures are also available on shiksha website but i can personally email her that's not a problem i can I will, is she has she specified any specific program that she is interested in no she has not speci specified it apari uh, if you can uh, just uh, write that what program you are looking for maybe it will be easy for shekhar to respond otherwise i have already emailed you his email address yeah master in human resource she is saying ah okay that's great pari please drop me an email to send information on the human resources i will surely help you with the information okay um moving to next question uh, this is a very common question from few students uh, shekhar when the students are asking if the september intake is going to be online or offline or hybrid 
for now i already answered this question for now uh, september intake would be too early to answer because we follow government guidelines and uh, uh, the government updates are one for two year, two months from now however anyone who comes to us applies to us even confirms admission you can defer to next intake just in case if you don't feel safe your admission is always valid and your fees gets transferred to a next intake uh, for now the current situation most of the students are following courses online and some are able to follow classroom experience because we ask uh, ministry to allow us few students in classroom okay moving to next question this is from vitanjali kaman and she is asking what is the deadline for mim program for 2021 september but we stop in mid june but don't wait too long by the time places get full uh, mim is very highly uh, we have we receive very high number of applications so it is better to apply as soon as possible but we will stop in mid june the admissions okay moving to next question which is from harsh desai he is asking is there any short listing of candidates for getting into neoma and what are the benefits of degree out of france uh, short listing in the sense i mean i, I didn't must understand that how the short university short list candidate he must be trying to ask the what, we, what kind of profile you look for as candidate who is applying to we look for the academics so yeah because we don't we we don't we don't ask for gre gmat so mainly everything is based on your academics and profile if you have any experience we look at everything and uh, experience again is not mandatory for masters program so academics play important role uh, in selection and then after the academics is your communication skills so as we don't ask for ielts score we do come we do speak with every student coming to us and see how how they are communicating uh, this is the first pre selection thing and after uh, you receive application if everything is fine we process the application and then the student goes to through the interview round where they have to give interview to be selected for the program and after see after the interview round we re respond whether you have an admission or not so it's not very long process but mainly yeah i mean interview round is the most important one okay uh i move to the next question which is from ankita kamath and student asking what is the <laughs> eligibility criteria admission process and is there any necessary of work experience for mim or msc program uh for uh, the work, concerning work experience what was the first question sorry uh she is asking for the eligibility criteria and if the work experience is required for mim or other msc programs firstly we do not require gre gmat we don't require ielts uh, you can simply apply for mim program the eligibility is minimum 3 year bachelor degree so 3 year 4 year both can apply for msc program the eligibility is 3 year bachelor degree with 1 year experience or 4 year bachelor degree any one of them okay uh, next question is from raj mohan and he is asking what are the post study work rights for international candidates there uh, there is none Uh, we don't have post study work visa mm. we have uh, we have something called aps which allows you to stay back in france and look for job but it is not a work visa it does not allow you to work however during the stay back we period you can do part time jobs but it is you don't it's like daily small jobs but it's not full time regular jobs that you can do with the aps visa okay uh next question uh, is a, again a common question from students this is regarding how much time does the business school takes in providing of a letter once the application is submitted and accepted by the by by the business school 
it, it depends on the program because the, for the MIM program, the for the MIM program, firstly, the wait period for the interview is three weeks approximately. So for MIM program, uh, once they're done with interview, we respond in uh, two, three days maximum, even sometimes in a one day. So it's very fast. And for MSc program, the interviews are pre-recorded interviews. So you have to record and submit your interview. So when we when we process the application, then you have to submit the interview. So it depends on you when you submit the interview. After you submit the interview, we try to respond in between anything between one to two weeks of time. Okay, I'll move to the next question, which is from Samir, and he's asking, can we work part 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 time during our studies during the course? Legally, one can work 20 hours a week, but it is a little bit difficult because programs are full time programs and it keeps you busy. Okay, I'll take a next question, which is from Arvind, and he has written that I want to pursue master in business analytics, which intake will be applicable for this particular program. Yeah, we have a September intake. The program starts in October, like September, October. Okay, Shekhar, uh, next question is uh, from Bhavna and she's asking what about the accommodation facilities on campus or off campus, what would you prefer? But on campus is always good because it's, uh, it's proposed by the school. When we say on campus, it's surrounding the campus. It's not within the campus, but it's walkable distance from campus, mostly close to campus. And uh, it's always better to go with the school option. I mean. And uh, if you want to go, if you want to have your own accommodation outside, that's completely fine. It's your choice. We do not oblige you to choose our accommodation. But outside um, accommodation can be a little bit expensive, depends on what you find. And then you have to take care of all the formalities about the booking, confirming with the owner. So it's big. It's a lot of headache when you do it on your own. It's better to go with the school option. Okay, um, I'm moving to the next question, which is from Daniel. And Daniel is asking, uh, if LOR and SOPs are required while we are applying for the program, MSc program, and how many LORs can be submitted? Yes, we require two LORs and we don't proceed further without having LORs. So it, yes, it is important. And we don't require SOP. We have questions in the application that you need to answer, which sounds like SOP. Okay. Uh then i'll move to the last question for today and this is again a very common question um common question shaker wherein students are asking about if a student has done the schooling or undergrad uh, undergraduate in english medium do they still need to take an english proficiency test to apply no we don't require ilts if your education is in english however if you feel that your one is weak in english we will we will conduct test on our own. Okay. Okay, I have I have just received two more questions. I'll take those questions. I hope you have time, Shekhar. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Okay, the next question is again from Arvind and he's asking, is it also uh so the first question he was asking was for uh let me just go check for masters of business analytics uh intake. And next, he's asking if this course is available in January intake. If yes, then what would be application deadline? And is it a two-year program? No, it is a one-year program. Uh, it is uh, it is a one-year program for January intake. I I, I need to check uh, if it is available. I don't think so, but I'm just checking rapidly. Mm -hmm. No problem. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the eligibility is the, it's it's a one year program. So eligibility, it's uh, I mean, if one ha want to do two year, then we can uh, just to tell you like if you want to do a program in two year, then you apply for MIM program, and in second year you choose MSc. That is fine. 
so yeah i mean business analytics you can do in one year or two year also that is possible but the first year will not be business analytics it will be generalized management courses uh, okay. no we do not have business analytics for january intake we have only september intake i mean it will start in october so we will the deadline is july end do not wait until last minute to submit your application earlier you apply first of all i as i said in the presentation we give the uh, give an application fee waiver so there is no fee to apply siksha has their application fee waiver so they you, you don't have to pay anything to apply to us okay i'll take the last question uh, this is going to be live question i'm going to unmute parinita chohan uh, parinita please unmute yourself and ask your question hey good evening shekha so my question uh, my how question is that uh, i'm doing fine how are you i'm very fine thank you very much yes i'm you. currently pursuing law i'm uh, uh, i'm in third year so i want to know that if uh, i can pursue further in msc program and uh, if there is any mba program actually i'm doing law with uh, that course name is bba llb that is business administration and law and is there any perks of being a law graduate but it's a five year program no normally yeah it's a five year program and i am in third year right now so i think and in 2023 my law will be complete so after that i'll be pursuing this yeah, i know so it's a bit too uh, early to know about these but, things but i still want to know but what is your first pick it's fine no worries it's Yeah. What was your first question? I just want to know that if I can pursue that MSc, any of that MSc program further. Yeah, I mean anything more than four years of studies is okay. You can apply for MSc program. The minimum requirement is four year bachelor degree. Is a minus five year bachelor degree. That will be fine. And you is there apply. any what? so that will be fine you can apply for one year program in this program okay and is there any perks of being a law graduate is there any perks of being a law graduate if i pursue the and uh, uh, msc degree after that mm -hmm. so hello yes what is the word she's basically asking if she will get any benefit of being a law graduate ah benefits but um, it depends on how you consider as benefit because uh, definitely one thing one should know is when it comes to management studies be it any background uh, be it any background you can pursue management studies so including law also definitely like when you uh, when you when you are working in law also you need to manage uh, uh, manage the organization so it can be anything to do with uh, like you are managing your clients business managing different projects for your firm because sometimes law firms also have big projects some big law firms if you want to work for a big law firm they also have managed to project so you can go for project management or you can go for international business so definitely you will benefit out of it and uh, one last question can you suggest ke that which program is best for me i mean being a law graduate student uh, management and law graduate so which program will be best as i said uh, global management project development would, would fit very well your uh, your background but you can for example if you decide to do uh, imagine that you want to work in law but you want to work in sales then we have international sales management so to find clients for your law company and then someone needs to do the sales so uh, you can also do the sales uh you can also do the sales uh, program so it depends what i suggest the best thing to do is contact me at that time once you finish the program we try to analyze situation and uh, 
but if you want to stay generalized just want to gain management skills in that case you can go for the msc global management which is like international business or project development when we have as i said we have big portfolio of msc programs so depending on your requirement we can analyze at that point of time. okay thank you so much thank you thank you so much for meta so um with this we have come to the end of the session and i would like to thank shekhar for taking out time and this was a really good presentation by you shekhar and uh, you have uh, taken a lot of questions from student i hope that a lot of the queries have been answered student you will be contacted by siksha counselors in case you have uh, questions about admission application processes document visa you can check with them they will help you out with that in case you want to get in touch with shekhar directly you can let the counselors know and they will help you get connected with him so uh, yeah. before we take a pause i would request shekhar if something that you would like to share with student that can help them that can boost their morale in applying to the to the to the to the universities abroad because at this in precedent time students are a bit skeptical whether they should apply or not yeah i mean one should uh, look like you know prepare yourself be motivated and uh, as i said apply and see at situation at that time in september if you uh, feel like coming you come in september for with us you know you always have possibility to defer admission even later in august so nothing to worry and we uh, one thing i forgot to mention very important thing during the covid we had also um, helped all our students who were in france in the critical covid period and we had also given financial aid to students so which was very very interesting and uh, specifically students from india i appreciated that a lot that we had given financial aid during the hard time of covid thank you so much uh, shekhar for those uh, inspiring words and now uh, we are we have come to the end i'm ending the session now so thank you so much once again shekhar thank you so much to us students yeah, for joining us in and thank you, hope that yes, yes. Thank you. yeah thank you so much shekhar once again and everyone have a great day and a great weekend ahead thank you bye bye yeah bye bye have a great evening thank you everyone thank you bye bye